you may have got one of these little tools with your 3D printer. What's it used for and why do I find it so useful? I'll explain right after this. When I first got my printer and uh, saw this little tool, I was using it, well, I thought it was used as a, uh, a method of hooking the filament off the nozzle uh, while the printer was warming up and uh, it was extruding some filament. Um, but then I started getting a lot of uh, blockages in my printer uh, very early on. And I'd pull the uh, nozzle apart or pull the printhead apart and pull the nozzle out, clean out the nozzle. And I got to a point where my nozzle um, became uh, really blocked and I couldn't clean it out. And I ended up buying a new nozzle. Uh, it was then I started to go online to try and find uh, the cause of my blockages. And I came across a video where the printer manufacturer was demonstrating on how to clean blocked nozzles. And he was using this tool. And since I've been using this tool as it was intended, I haven't had a single blockage and my printer now performs flawlessly. So now I'll show you how I use this and hopefully uh, you can get the same results I'm getting. Now this works for a direct feed extruder. Um, it, might, it might be valuable with a Bowden extruder, but um, this is how I use it with a direct feed extruder. I don't have any filament loaded, so this is a perfect time to show you uh, this tool's full usefulness. And basically what the process is, is I'm uh, just cleaning out the filament uh, in the nozzle before it has a chance to uh, cause me issues. The first thing I'm going to do is to preheat the nozzle. I'm choosing ABS because I want the uh, nozzle to get to a temperature of 210, as you can see here. Once I have the nozzle nice and hot, I can just insert this uh, tool into the top of the uh, feed extruder. And I can see there's actually uh, some filament that's left in here. Uh, it's, it's snapped off at the, the top here. So I'm just going to actually use this tool to push that filament through as well and purge all the filament out of the nozzle. It's at this point I realise that the uh, print head's too high and I'm going to need to lower it down so that I can get a, a straight run at the filament with my tool. Uh, currently it's trying to go in at an angle and I really need it to be straight up and down to get a good straight push on that uh, filament. So we'll go back to the settings and I'm going to move the z-axis and just bring it down. Okay, so now that I have the extruder at a height where I can get a nice straight push on the filament, I'll just open the clamp up, feed the tool in, and it may take a little bit of jiggling around. And I'm looking to find, here we go, feel you can see at the bottom there, I'm just pushing through any filament that may still be in the nozzle. You can see it just feeding out the bottom. I'm just feeling inside the nozzle for any more filament. Make sure we get it all out. Now I'm ready to uh, load some filament. So it's back to my settings and change filament, add filament. And I'm going to choose ABS. And now that I've got it preheated, I'm just going to bring some filament down 
And I'm going to cut the end of the filament. Where are we? Yeah. Sweet. At 45 degrees. Just so it's got a bit of a point to uh, push into the extruder. It's very brittle, this, this film, it's very brittle. I'll do that again. Cut it back at 45. And then feed it in. I don't know if you can see that, but we now have filament uh, feeding out of the extruder. Okay, so that's a quick look at how I use this tool and why I, I find it so useful. Uh, I'll purge the nozzle um, every time I change a filament, basically, if I'm changing colours or just, just changing the filament. Or if I've uh, been printing for a while, I'll just uh, take the fil filament out uh, purge the nozzle, give it a good clean out, and then load the filament back in. And I find by doing this, I, I don't get any blockages, and the extruder is, is always extruding nicely, and I'm not getting under extrusion. So if you uh, find you're having issues with your printer, give this little tool a try, and um, try purging your nozzle. It uh, works very well. I hope this has been useful. Uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you later.